are so gorgeous. <laughs> Look at that face. That is adorable. That is the prettiest. She's such a beautiful girl. Sorry, Alice, may I have that question again? She is so regal. She's sitting in the shade, of course, out of the sun. Look at her. She's stunning. Isn't she beautiful? No, so she obviously wasn't taking too much interest in whatever she saw in the distance. But there's that typical look that all Karula's offspring seem to have. I don't mind it so much. I think it's quite cute, actually, to look like you're sort of a little bit upset all the time. But it's very sweet. You know, like I said, she's not. It, she can't help her facial expressions, the way her eyes are positioned, the way her nose is in conjunction to the rest of her body. But it's nice. I think it's very special. And it's something, like I said, Karula's passed on. And this trait will hopefully be passed on for generation to generation. And that'll be a way that will be able to identify all the offspring that have come from Karula. Now, William, you're wondering if leopards can accidentally fall out of trees. Well, <laughs> as you saw just a moment ago, Shongile almost fell out, not accidentally, but because she couldn't find her footing. But I'm sure it happens. I think as an adult, it's less likely, but definitely a youngster. I've watched Hosanna and Shongile, but more Hosanna fall out of trees. And it just takes a bit of practice. And obviously they need to develop muscles and learn how to balance. So yes, it's most certainly possible. And it's just the same as how birds can fall out of trees. They can get blown out. They can, you know, also maybe land and a branch breaks. I've seen that with vultures before where they land and they look like they're going to go toppling down. But luckily they flap their wings a couple of times and get enough lift. But Shongile, you are an elegant girl and we've seen you balancing on all sorts of things before. So I don't think that she'll have a problem. But she's happy here. This is a nice spot. She might just rest up for the day she, those eyes look like they're getting heavier and heavier and as i say that yes she puts her head down and her paws so perhaps she is just going to have a siesta a day filled with leopards is not a bad day in my books actually a day filled with any animals is not a bad day what a lovely girl so peaceful as well not a bird chirping I am going to have to jump on the ra Game Drive radio in a moment. I promise I'm not ignoring you. This is probably the most I've ever spoken on a Game Drive radio in my entire life. I'm normally always getting into trouble for not being on the radio. Mike is going to come into the sighting, and I suspect I'm going to have to guide him a little bit because I don't know if he'll get a view from where we are positioned now with all the silver cluster leaves and bush willows. They're all around here. There's some big ones too. And so we will need to just guide him guide him in but I'm listening out for his his vehicle we might actually see Shongile give us the first sign that there's a vehicle approaching so let's see if that happens if she turns her head sort of back towards we are where we are and we know she's listening to something else there we go you see that you see how her ears are pricking she's listening I can't hear anything just yet I'll tell you when I can hear the car there we go, I can hear a vehicle now. Right, let's try and call this in. Standing by Tom. Well, we have called it in. Can we keep this to a two vehicle sighting, please? It's quite thick here. Um, uh, you can stand by and then Mike is making his approach. I'll call you in when I pull out. We are just sort of southwest of Treehouse Dam on the southern road. Copy, thanks. I'm going to be spending a bit of time here. Um, I've been searching for leopards all morning. There we go. Copy. Mike, if you come on, if you come across the dam wall as if you're going south, turn right onto the southern road as if you were going back towards Shibamo. And then you should see where my vehicle tracks go off. Um, just sort of look a little bit southwest. Um, when I get your audio, though, I'll guide you in. I'm not far off of the road. Mm. Oh, hang on, stand by. Where? 
behind us. Oh, there's another leopard here. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Guys, we've got another leopard. Who is this in the tree? Is it Hosanna? No ways. No ways. It is too. It's Hosanna. No, this is Tumba. Can we have a look? This is interesting. Can we just look at his right eye very quickly? The, he's got a... Yes, this is Tumba. Guys, I need some help here. Please hashtag Safari Live and confirm if this is Tumba. It, it looks like those ears are too big to belong to... Um, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on. To belong to, of course, Hosanna, but I could be mistaken, of course. Um, Alice, will you just keep an eye out and see if anybody does send in, if that is Tumba or Hosanna? Well spotted. I'm just listening to Mike. Okay, copy Mike. Um, I've just realized I've got a, another another leopard up a tree here as well with Shongile. I think it might be Tumba. It doesn't look like Hosanna. We're just waiting for confirmation. It's quite thick here. That's why I think I'm going to keep it still to a two vehicle. Like there's just a lot of bush willows surrounding these two cats now. Um, what's your position, Mike? Mike has also got a leopard. So Shadow is in the area too. Oh my goodness. Okay, copy. Thanks, Mike. Um, that's very interesting. Tom, you're welcome to go and join Mike then. We've got then three leopards in the vicinity of a couple of hundred meters. We can just keep rotating if you guys are happy to do that. I'll keep you guys updated. The viewers will let me know now and confirm if this is Tumba that I have in the tree, but I've definitely got Shongile. Right, so this is very interesting, isn't it? Um, let me try and get you another view here. Um, I'm going to turn the radio, Game Ride Radio now down so I can focus. So Mike has got another leopard. Mike has got another leopard, which we will also try and go to. I think I'm in a hole though, yes. Uh, which is quite exciting. He says it looks like a young male leopard. So maybe it's Hosanna. Let me go here. I was going to try and get a view of that other leopard, but let's just look at Shungile because she sat up again. This is unbelievable. Oh, hang on. There he is. He's looking back at us now. I don't know if Shungile knows that this leopard is here. This, the male that's sitting in the tree is looking down at Shungile. Let's see what happens. This is so interesting. This is now probably going to explain why I've been seeing so many young male leopard tracks around on the ground. Because remember, I had adult female leopard tracks as well as young male leopard tracks around quarantine. And I couldn't work out whose they are. Then we found Tangana that evening. I don't think they were Tangana's tracks. Shungile, do you know? Yes, yeah, she knows that there's a leopard up the tree. She's looking. And Tumba's not reacting at all. This is amazing. And it's probably because they're so young and that they don't mind each other and they're probably finding comfort within one another. Have you ever? I've never been in a situation before where we've had potentially three different leopards in the same area. Let's see what her response is. Do you want me to, let me go back for you a little bit, Senzel. Sorry, I see the aerials in the way there. So I'm just gonna swing my, swing the car just, just round like this. Hello, girl. Okay, that's fine. There we go. That's a little bit better. This is so interesting. How great is that? So yes, I think this is definitely Tumba up in the tree. That black smudge under his, uh, his left eye is very noticeable. And then of course those big ears. But this is great. Tumba in a tree, Shongile down below, and we're uncertain as to what male leopard Mike has got, and we're going to have to go in and have a look. Mike says he thinks it might be Hosanna, but he hasn't seen him in a while. I can't believe this. What, how is our luck turning like that? Going from not having anything, leopards just disappearing in front of my eyes. And now look at this. Three leopards within just a couple of hundred meters of each other, plus Shadow and her daughter, not too far away from here. <laughs> Stanley, 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 you're wondering if there's a little bit of romance in the air and uh, wondering if uh, Shongile and Tamba aren't perhaps going out. Maybe, maybe I've ruined a, a date. Maybe they were on a getaway. Uh, I don't think so though. I think they're a little bit too young. As great of, as a story that would make, unfortunately, that's probably not the case. Oh, listen to her. She's sort of making a chuffing noise. Mike can see another leopard from where he is now. 
I th I'm trying to. I'm confused now. I think maybe he's talking about my sighting. This is so funny. Mike, I think it might be you that I'm looking at. If it's in a silver cluster leaf, if you can make out a silver cluster leaf, and if the leopard is facing in an easterly direction, then yeah, it's me. I've got both Tamba up the tree and then Shongila's just at the base, but they're looking towards Treehouse Dam now, so maybe they're gonna come your side. Which vehicles just driven past on the southern road? Okay, I've got your audio. I think Tom, it's you. If you want, you can come and join me. Yes, I'm just sorry. There's obviously we're trying to organise these sightings now. Oh, so this leopard's not far away. Okay, copy. Well, where from where you are? I'm about 80 meters. If you look to your left, far left to the south, you should be able to see my vehicle too. So this is very interesting. So Mike is not far away. I've just actually picked up where he is and I'm trying to figure out where this other leopard is. So that's quite exciting. There's so many leopards here this, uh, this morning. Um, so sorry, as I was saying before, I got distracted just trying to figure out where everybody is positioned. And we, you know that we've driven up and down these roads so many times today and there were no leopards around here. So they've just come out of their holes, quite confusing and a bit overwhelming, but exciting nonetheless. So obviously Tandy has gone off and she's looking for something to eat. I don't know what Tandy's reaction would be to Shongile. I don't know if it would necessarily be a polite reaction, but very, very interesting nonetheless. But Tamba seems to be quite content with his new friend. And she keeps like, listen, you see that? She's sort of doing the chuffing noises at him. It's not an aggressive sound, this. It's very soft and subtle. I don't know if you can actually hear it because I'm just picking it up just every now and then but she's looking up at him as if to say hello and now this other leopard is not far from where we are well i can't wait i'm gonna have to give jamie a call and tell her all these exciting news these news all this exciting news and it seems as though she's also found something up a tree Look at that gorgeous face, those beautiful blue-green eyes and of course those big ears to go with that face. This has been an unbelievable morning and a huge turn of events. Leopards every, everywhere. Now I'm not going to go, it's, I think it's going to be a bit tight if we try and get to the other leopard to try and figure out who it is, but I will go back a little bit later. And, and go and investigate and try and get some pictures and then I'll of course let you know who exactly that was up in the tree but I just think it's amazing and that these two leopards are sitting here quite happily together Shongile making very sweet little chuffing noises but Tamba doesn't seem to be too too perturbed by her presence and vice versa I mean Shongile is not racing up the tree to join him I think Tamba's probably going, wait till my mother gets here <laughs> and sees all of you around here. It'll be really quite interesting to see what Tandy's reaction is going to be, because I've never seen anything like this before. Two leopards from different litters meeting up. Uh, not uncommon, I'm not surprised by this at all. Like I said, they're young. They don't know any different. Um, so it, it's, it, it's not like adult leopards that have already established themselves in territories and will be very, very protective, of course, uh, of course be protective over those territories. These guys just follow mom, well Tumba's still following mom around or staying put wherever she tells him to stay and then they go about their day. And Shongile and Hosanna are roaming around still very lost not sure where to go what to do just trying to find a meal stay safe and not get chased by any other animals but she's a cute little girl though that's all I can say about Shongile she's really turning into a lovely little leopard See that? She keeps looking up at him as if to say, come down and play, please. You want to come down? No? You want to sit in the tree? But both tree-loving cats, and I think that Tumba's obviously a better tree climber than Hosanna. Ruth, you said a conquest of leopards. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I, you know what, and this is why I love the bush again so much. You just never know what you're quite going to see. Look how she's walking straight here. Right next to the car. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to duck. She's just gone behind the vehicle now. Oh. There she is. 
we'll make sure we see where she's going. She, she's not looking at Tamba to, to follow her. Shongile, go left, go left, because you could potentially be re reunited with your brother. Maybe he spots her. What an exciting morning it has been. I really don't know quite what to say, but leopard madness spots everywhere. Exciting things from the Mara. It has truly been an absolutely wonderful morning. Now we're going to try and figure out what's going on. I'm going to stay and follow Shongile for a bit longer to see where she ends up so we have an idea where to go for the sunset safari. But I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing all the pictures. Remember to join us this afternoon for another leopard fiasco.